Come on in, man. Yeah, grab yourself a cigar and a glass of Chi Chi Cherry. And uh, take a look at some of the stuff I got here. Yeah, just some stuff from my childhood. Since I don't do emails, so I figure this is a better way to, or the best way, for me to show my pals who build models, who like books, smoke cigars. Yeah. You know I like the cuties. Here we got a little package from my grandpa. Eagle Claw Fish Hooks. Got a nice shot of the guy there. This is a sports show, so that's my tie-in right there. There we go. The old happy fisherman. And we got another book. My first book with the motorcycles from my Scholastic Book Order in 1974. This book here is from... 1966, but I got it at a bookstore, the used section, when I was a little kid, probably like around well, early 70s when I picked that up. You guys, go ahead, grab the game and play a few, play a few. It works. Of course, I took the battery out, but I did make sure it works. I'm not going to invite my friends over and then have my games not work, or have a bunch of empty cigar boxes, or I'm not going to invite my friends over and not have any ice for their choo-choo cherry. I mean, come on. My dad and mom raised me right. I'll even go get you the little cups they came in. Okay. Yeah. I got that. I got the grape guy there. Mm-hmm. Okay, give me a sec while I move all this stuff out of the way so I can show you what I brought you over here for. So this is why I brought you over. As you know, this channel is a vintage sports memorabilia show, first and foremost. Showing my dad's game day programs and pennants he got from games he went to with his dad. As well as his autograph book filled with signatures from January 1955 through 1959. Mostly baseball, but quite a few college basketball players who would go on to play in the NBA. I show my childhood card collection only when it relates to my dad's collection of programs. But back in the day, there was only 12 NFL teams. This means a lot of my cards don't get shown. Since my card collection is from the 70s, I figured a good way to show them is to do a few episodes on the Super Bowl champion teams from the Colts to the Raiders back in the 70s. I know I say I don't like change, but I do like variety. So this will be my first variety show. Like Sonny and Cher, hey. Maybe some of you had these items at one time or knew somebody who had them also. This episode touches on a little of everything, as you can see. So I don't get sued for false advertising. We got a Roland Lakes autograph team photo there. I don't remember how I got this, but I've had it as long as my Travis Williams signed photo and as long as I can remember. That is Roland Hayes Lake. Second round pick, defensive tackle from University of Wichita in 1961. He played 11 years of pro ball, all with the Niners. Except for one, he played with the New York Giants. He was born in Vicksburg, Mississippi. And for over 50 years, he held the distinction of being the youngest starting lineman in 49ers history. It's a nice shot. Somewhat close up. It's about as close as I can get of his autograph. There we go. That's better. Roland Lakes. So back in the 80s and 90s, me and my longtime wife slash girlfriend, we would watch British comedies. And then she'd always get the inclination to go ahead and donate to our local public broadcasting. One of our favorite TV shows from the 70s was called Are You Being Served? that starred John Inman, who you're looking at right there. So one night... We see him on TV while he was visiting the PBS studios in San Francisco during Pledge Week asking for donations. He signed a bunch of his photos with the gold sharpie to go along with his TV companion book, which you see there. So technically, souvenir programs here, even though it's a companion book. With your pledge, you got the Are You Being Served book along with this real nice signed color photo on hard stock paper of Mr. Inman. Unfortunately for me, his pen was running out of ink. 
This is one of my favorite TV shows from the 70s that I found out about in the 1990s. Same with my other favorite British comedy show, Only Fools and Horses. Great show. You ever had a book that you didn't want to finish because you didn't want it to end? It's happened to me a few times. That's how I was with this book. I only partially opened it. You know, my favorite TV show. And yeah, I just kind of didn't want to get to the end. So basically, it's like brand new. I only opened up the first few pages. As for this... As for this photo here, I'll show you close up on that. Try to get it for you. You got Mrs. Slocum there and Captain Peacock. It was about a, a retail store in England in a big department store, the clothing department. Mr. John Inman, British actor. You can see his name, John Inman. I don't know what it says above that, if it says from or cheers or really don't know. I'm not British. Mr. John Inman. I won't do his bio because I do sports bios, not actors. Forgot to start the show with what's the connection between these two signed photographs? Well, now I can tell you. The connection is both of these autographs are not in-person autographs, which is highly unusual for my dad and my collection. All of our autographs were in person, like I say, except for the two right here. Those are not. This, I will show you another time. That says, best wishes, hugs and kisses from Annabella Lewin. Oh, yeah. So that's my variety show. First and only. Peace. Annabella Lewin, lead singer, Bow Wow Wow.